Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 73. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. Right, so we're here for the GTI Club. We've got the uh, VW Golf GTI Mark VI. And we're starting off with Bernie's Alps, Iberian International, and Camino Vio. But yeah, welcome everyone. Welcome to the stream. Oh, I love Block Party. Yo, Scott YT, what up? How are you today? Welcome to the stream. Ooh. I'm doing good, man. Ah! That's all good. We're going to be streaming for probably about three hours, I want to say, today. Just because I need to get a couple of things edited before I go to work. This is such a tune. Anytime. I can't remember what game this was from. This was in a video game and it was an absolute tune. I'm not too sure. But yeah, welcome everyone. Hopefully everyone's having a good day. Yo, Benjamin! Welcome. How are you today? I appreciate it, man. Appreciate the subscriptions. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all the support. We're actually seeing quite a lot of support for the uh, Forza series lately, which is awesome. Pretty good. Some of the uh, older stuff of the Mega Series, like the original Forza Motorsport, um, it's already picking up extra views here and there, which is crazy still. <coughs> yeah, I'll show you what up. Here we go. Another race. Okay, um, 
This uh, screen hasn't come up on my PC. Um, I need to, I need to figure out how to find it. These golfs at the back are really slow. Not bad. Right, we got another three laps to go. Not too bad. We've got another two laps to go. Wow, this one and the next one. And there we go. Not bad. That's a good result. Let's see what uh, rewards we get as well. Get some all right rewards. I'll take those. They're free. Body and show me you want some more. It's that time for you to get on the floor. Now move that body and show me you want some more. It's that. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I was. A vibing. Oh, this is a small circuit. These are all the uh, smaller tracks. We haven't driven around these ones since, like, the very start of the game. Probably won't drive around them again for a while, either. It's that time for you to get on the floor. Now move that body and show me you want some more. What a tune. I love this song at the moment. Oh. Right, let's see if we can get that first place position.
we put the power down before the AI actually did, so able to get a little bit of distance just by that. Now move that body and show me you want some more. Very good, very nice, very good, very nice. Hello, sexy banana. I shall take it. Alright, so we're now going to take part in the Mini Cooper Club. We've got the Mini Cooper. Duh. Uh, Bernie's Alps, Iberian International, and Ladera Test Track. Let's get going. Right, here we go. Let's go. Vroom, vroom. Beep, beep. Get out of the way. According to the car, we got a full tank of fuel. Sick, mate. This is going to be quite challenging because uh, all of the cars are actually like similar performances. Whoa! Oh, let's go around the outside. Oh, what a pass. Holy fuck, understeered like a motherfucker. Jesus Christ! I have no idea why, because I haven't really had an obsession with them, but I'm proper, like, enjoying My Chemical Romance lately. Like, really listening to it.
what you... I, I'm really loving this. I can't believe it's taken me like 15 years to get the hype of My Chemical Romance, but... <laughs> better late than never, never, I guess. Ah, oh, it's so good. Right, here we go. This one isn't a really, really small one. Because a really, really small one goes around here, doesn't it? Oh, wait, no. This is the really, really small one. What, what am I getting this mixed up with? Ah, uh, it might be the uh, Camino Vio that I mixed it up with. Oh, well. Whoa! Buddy, how that was aggressive. Pulled it off, though. Yo, Heinz, what up? How are you today? Joke's on you, they let me home sooner so you won't avoid me. I was trying so hard, I failed. Oh no. That song, yeah. It, it's unique. It's definitely unique, but it's catchy. Bada dum, bada dum, bada dum. Everybody see one on another one. Five Namco and Remington. I think the beat is good. I think the lyrics just makes it sort of like, hmm. It makes you think. Yeah, it's definitely catchy though. Nobody better than we. I'm so excited for uh, tomorrow. By the way. New Jason Status song! Literally, it is... 13 hours before it releases. 13 hours. That's all we gotta wait. Bad from me, bar. Normally, drum and bass is sort of quite a mellow genre. It, 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 it doesn't prove itself in the media. It's not anything special. And I mean, last year, drum and bass, there wasn't much. In fact, last year, I don't think there was many good albums that came out. But this year, we've had, we've been treated by Subfocus to a brand new album that is amazing. We're about to be treated by Chase and Status, who has had three unbelievable singles so far this year. Is it? This is a different layout. 
I don't think I've actually driven this layout before. Yeah, because it goes in the in the middle section. What on what on earth are these layouts? Yeah, because the start finish line is normally there. Ah, so it's a road that. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, so this year has been unbelievably good in terms of like drum and bass songs. Even Dimension, right, who. His last album was like. It was good drum and bass, don't get me wrong, but it was a very sort of abstract, unique style. Did it really fit into any drum and bass genre? And you now have him releasing absolute bangers like DJ Turn It Up, Rhyme Dust Remix, and um, It's That Time Remix as well. Yeah, they're remixes, but absolute tunes. Like, honestly. And then in terms of dance music as well, Swedish House Mafia has brought, brought out two bangers. See the Light and uh, Ray of Solar. In terms of music this summer, we've been absolutely treated. It's very rare you can say, like, oh, this summer has been amazing in terms of music. David Guetta's always been a Met artist. Um, I think the only time he was actually genuinely good was back in like 2008 to 2010. Now he's just... He's mid. You know. He copies a lot of other artists as well, so... And like, there's there's a point where you creating music is just copying other people's music. Jason Derulo is a great example. He's literally just released a song that sounds like Scatman John's skibidi bidi bida song. Oh, this this again is another good drum and bass song. Bensley, Bensley's really surprised me this year because he's made some absolute tunes. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.